Don't forget, counting down the top phone taps of the year starting this Monday. Yay! Yay! It's happening. The year is like already wrapping it up, man. (laughs) Thank God, right? (laughs) Before we officially get things rolling, it's time for another honorable mention where Brooke poses as a high school vice principal Mm. and tells a mom about the (laughs) prank her son has been planning at school. Oh, Oh, yeah. Very bad. You're going to hear it in your phone tap right now. Hello? Hi, this is Vice Principal Marsha Willingham from High School. Am I speaking with Evan's mom? Yes, this is her. I'm calling because of a situation that's come to my attention involving your son. Okay, what is going on? One of our students told me that the senior class is planning a host of pranks to close out the year. And your son, Evan, is sort of the mastermind behind them. Oh. He's acting like the ringleader for other students. I don't know what's going on. He hasn't said anything to me. Well, I've been going over what his ideas apparently are, and I'm just going to say I need some help on the inside. That's you to stop this. Yes, I'll do anything that you uh, tell me to do. I'm shocked that this is happening. Now, you've probably heard pranks where students maybe take apart a teacher's car or cover it in sticky notes. I mean, yes, I've seen that before, but I don't think Evan would ever do that. You're right, he wouldn't. Evan has a different plan. Oh, no. He plans to wash and wax half a dozen faculty vehicles during third period. Uh, Did you say wash and wax? I couldn't believe it either. (laughs) I'm confused by this. Wouldn't that be a good thing? Maybe I need to tell you that he's only planning to use level two car wax. I mean, he's not even using the best kind. Are are you serious right now? And you're not going to believe what else he has planned. I mean, what? I don't know if you heard last year, a former senior released a live chicken in the lunchroom. What? It was horrifying. It was making all kinds of noises, chicken droppings everywhere. Oh, my God. And this year, Evan and his cronies are planning to sneak in at night and release a Roomba. What is the... Oh, that's the thing that vacuums. So he's already told you. Did he tell you this already? Are you in on these pranks? No, I just know what a Roomba is. Does the Roomba have something on it? No, it's just a Roomba. Are you not hearing me? I'm hearing you. It's just like, that's cleaning the the lunchroom. It's a rogue vacuum. You don't know where that thing is going to go. Oh, my God. For all we know, the batteries are charged, and it stalls out in the gymnasium, and Coach Rogers slips and falls on that. Then we have a lawsuit on our hands. So you want me to talk to Evan about not cleaning the school? You're taking this too lightly. I mean, You're taking it too seriously. You're acting like your son is doing a good thing here. He's polishing the floors. Like, I'm sure the school will appreciate that. Like, I don't understand the problem. How is this dangerous? How is this a problem? You know, I think I'm starting to understand the problem. I think that the problem is, is that Evan hasn't had any positive parental influence at home. Are you serious? So you're just letting him run amok, congratulating him on it. Mm -hmm. You're being disrespectful to me as a parent. Okay. Cleaning is a good thing, well, normally. <laughs> maybe your tune will change when I tell you about the grand finale your son has been masterminding. Oh, please tell me about his master plan. I can't wait to hear her about this. Okay. I don't know if you know this, but years ago, a bunch of seniors broke into the principal's office and changed their grades on the computer. He's not going to change grades. He doesn't know anything about that. Well, that's where you're wrong. I have it on good authority from my student sources that your son is planning on changing the principal's computer background from retro to tropical print. (laughs) Are you serious? You're interrupting me in the middle of the day for this? (laughs) What is this, 2021 tropical print? That is so out of style. My son is a good student and a good child. Releasing a Roomba is not going to destroy anything that, that you have going on there. Well, I didn't even tell you about the prank he's pulling on you right now. What? I mean, your son Evan called a local radio station and asked them to prank his mother. And that's what I'm doing right now. What? (laughs) Uh, Don't work at your son's high school. This is actually Brooke from Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. We're doing a phone tap on you. (laughs) Oh, my God. No. Dude, your son Evan listens to the show. And he just want to say he's excited to graduate. And he wanted to play his senior prank on his mom. How cute is that? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you got a real bad ass out there you better watch out sounds like he takes better care of the school than he takes care of his room <laughs> release the Roomba <laughs>